So what we have here is the original authentic package and the product of Air Jordan 36 and 37. Since I was in the middle school, I always wanted to own the Air Jordan Series 8, but I never managed to own one because mainly I was poor. But to fulfill that desire, that child in me, I end up finally buying the Air Jordan 37, which is the color of black, which looks awesomely similar to series 8. So what I'm going to do on this video is mainly focus on the visual difference between Air Jordan 37 and 36 and probably I'm going to do a cushioning review mainly but oh no I'm just trying to keep it as originally as possible hoping that in 20 to 30 years time if I keep it this way both of these are going to be way more value than how it is now. So enough said, let's get into the actual visual review. So here it goes. So if you were to remove the cardboard uh, cover, I love that logo from Ev Jordan and also the minimized 23 that continues on on the top of the main package. So if you were to open that up. Ooh, look at that. That is one beautiful Air Jordan 37 there. So you can see that mesh continues on again with the same time, bit of a pattern continuing. Um, I love that purple color, reminds me of Megatron kind of feel. If you see what I mean, that part is quite cool. It's actually a bit transparent and the bottom side of it uh, awfully is similar to Air Jordan 8. We got a bit of a hardening surface there and that's the other side of it that cushioning bit I don't think that was actually available on 36 and we got a bit of this bit sticking out so if we were to do a quick 360 degrees rotation view of it that's how it looks like okay that's pretty cool isn't it and lastly there's this Air Jordan 37 on it now, if we were to open up the 36, the white version of it, that's how it looks like. And immediately what I can see is that they look awfully similar, but at the same time, very different. Okay, so you can see the main contrast here is this thing that continues on. And you can also see the air zoom on this one. A um, bit of an opening hole in the middle here, while as the um, Air Jordan 37, there isn't any revealing of air zoom. This is more like uh, Air Jordan 8, isn't it? Again, so that's how it looks like. Comparison on the bottom side, I personally prefer the minimalist approach, but then again, reminds me of Air Jordan 8. And on the sideways, we have got that transparent backing on 37, but on 36, we got this sort of continuing back and front pattern. Uh, this is the blue color white version. And we got this infinite symbol on it, which I have no idea why there's an infinite sign on this one, but quite rightly, we got the uh, 37 writing on the back. Talking about backside, we got a bit of a sponge there but it's also very different where we got the nike air logo on 36 and on the 37 we got the signature of michael jordan and it doesn't show the logo of air jordan symbol on the back it's mainly just uh, 36 writing probably it's the handwriting of uh, michael jordan himself but anyhow we don't actually have the any indication of uh, 36 other than the writing on the back. And it looks quite uh, different, doesn't it? At the same time, overall, when you place them together, they look very similar shape-wise, yeah? Um, on the front, we can see that I love that, that front cover of Air Jordan symbol on the front. Whereas we haven't got that, instead we got it on the tongue bit of it. And speaking of tongue, look at that. Which one do you prefer? I would say the 36 will help you get on with it on both front and the back. While as 37, instead of um, having one in the front, we got this more like a sticking out handle at the front 
and the same. Oh, actually, this is more solid. It's more um, stronger effect than 36, okay? So on the other side, I have to say, suddenly this purple and yellow looks really nice, but this is very, mainly the color. But I'm a fan of minimalist, so maybe you might defer to my opinion, but I really like the 36 um, design altogether. Though this brings me uh, good old memories, okay? So that's pretty much, I would like to say, um, overall. Okay, so on my right hand side, I got the Air Jordan 36 and 37 on my left hand side. And I have to say, Air Jordan 37 feels a bit lighter. Both of them are very light shoes, but regards to cushioning, I have to say, wow, Air Jordan 36 have much cushioning, uh, while as um, Air Jordan 37, it's a bit solid, but still yet a nice cushioning indeed, but not as good as Air Jordan 36. So fashion wise, I don't know which one you prefer, but I always like white color. It goes really well against my uh, jean, which is a very common thing to wear. Um, so it's up to you to decide on which design you like, but that's the very quick cushioning comparison and the weight version of both units. So there you have it people, this was a very quick comparison between Air Jordan 36 and 37. What I really like about Air Jordan 37 is the actual tongue, this red um, pattern that goes around and also that handle that sticks out, that was really clever design while as 36, it's a bit more bulky but the compensation is that you get this Air Jordan cover uh, front. Um, the thing I don't like about um, Air Jordan 36 mainly is this mysterious looking plastic, this thin plastic that goes right in the middle of the bottom. I don't know whether this is going to snap in a long term use um, or get worn out. It's something that only those people who decide to wear this in a long term could figure out, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep it again as the original condition. And um, I have to say, I'm really impressed with the cushioning. Um, both of them are really. Uh, feels very similar uh, weight but in fact when you wear them um, I think Air Jordan 37 seems to feel a bit more lighter hence probably that's why they came up with less of the mesh that I could already see here and um, all these reasons behind it but um, surprisingly I was expecting both the same cushioning while as Air Jordan 37 seems to have a way less cushioning for some reason and this is the later version so it's probably one of those people who actually tried out will know the reason behind it which I cannot explain which I'm sure you could figure out but I hope this gives you a really good impression of the visual difference between these two fantastic models that fulfill the desire of my childhood but if you have any queries for extra that I haven't covered please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.